Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Thea the Awakening. We've got two five skull challenges here. Let's see what we can do with them. You approach your enemy and have time to decide your plan of action. So we can fight, we can try social, we can sneak, or we can do tactics. Uh, let's try social. Two orc witches, five orc fighters, one orc matriarch. Let's go ahead and begin the combat. I don't have a whole lot of high damage cards, and a lot of them are back here. Let's shuffle. I feel like you shuffled it worse for me, game. Alright, player's turn. Let's get Ashley out there, and... I think I need to get a good shield ally if we can. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a counter-offense. Let's get right... Uh, Counter-tactic. Counter-tactic. Nope, counter-offense didn't work. Counter-tactic. Can't confuse any of you. Okay. Support ally and a shield ally. So, all the damage is going to go first, unfortunately. Let's get ye... Oh, right. No, I miss... looked at it wrong. You're the one that has uh, piercing. Dang it. Oh well. Alright, not the best, but we'll see how it goes. Oof. We've only lost one. So I think we will succeed with uh, this round. But they're still going to have some cards. And we've got good cards up front. Good. Try to get you up front. All right, first action. Get you in there. I think we're basically okay in terms of damage, so let's just get more people out, I think. do that. These are the easier cards in the deck, so... There we go. We've won! Your opponents feel uneasy at first, but slowly it turns to outright fear and panic. They not only run away, but drop some of their stuff on their way. Holy cow! Alright, got a decent metal ring. We've got, uh... Draco Bone Armor. 
17 armor, 3 leech, 1 dexterity. Uh, a leaf shield, a 7 armor, 10 shielding, 1 dexterity. A bad quality dark pendant, but it does have 1 range damage, 1 folklore, and 3 faint. It's not bad. Uh, a thorny warhammer, which is 12 damage, 3 poison, and blunt damage. It's a pretty good weapon. Uh, the Perfectus, 16 damage, 6 shield, 2 magic. Uh, a Buckler, which is not all that great, we'll break it down. And a Citrine Axe, which is also not all that great, we'll break it down. Good, take their stuff and continue. 2 XP, 2 research. Alright. That went... that went well. So let's wait. The whole land is uh -oh. shaken with tremors. Many hold on to something. Get bruised and thrown about, but you find some useful minerals. Thanks, game. Damn these tremors. That's not ideal. Is there anything to collect right around here? There is not. Um, let's collect some seaweed. I'm going to camp and. Uh, Cover some health. Wait, what? Dang it. There we go. Manage supplies. We are a little bit low on some types of food. We can eat those. That's fine. Got some grain. We'll gather as much of this stuff as we can. Alright, inventory. Um, I don't know where the sandstone went. I guess it went to the village. Let's get rid of some of that wood. It's fine, we don't need that many days. Alright, so equipment-wise, um, let's start with our warriors. I like the leech, but you already have leech. Eagle Claw. The leech is good, but again, you've got other good stuff. Um... Uh, Hmm. This might go to one of the other people back at uh, camp. Unless, unless we got really good on... Yeah, I kind of like the, the attractiveness since we don't have a whole lot. Although it's not doing a whole lot for us. Kijikun. There aren't too many four card level four people left. Definitely wear this. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, let's check out other people first. Can't use that. Loud definitely can't. Lysane well, could. That's less dexterity, though. Although you don't need that much dexterity for that for that stealth. You've already got leech, however. So I'd rather the leech go onto someone else. Let's give you these. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit too heavy. Alright, and let's give you this new sword. Improve your magic a bit. All right, so we can give you one of these two: faint folklore, range damage, or distraction and armor. Nope, can't give you that one. 
Can't give you that. Well, <laughs> never mind. What about this? Oh, I could give you uh, this shield. Which would be a lot better. Well, what about other people with shields? That. Rose Chan. I cannot carry anything else. Hmm. I mean, Farron's doing pretty well with stuff as it is, but, uh. Yeah, losing, uh, losing two shielding, not a big deal to gain some dexterity in Leech, I think. Let's go with that. That's good. Zolato doesn't have any accessories yet, so you can have that one. Um, I could swap out Kijikun's uh, weapon. You would lose your shielding, but I think that's okay. To do even more bludgeoning damage, I think that's worth it. Now this shield, this would be good for someone, I'm sure. Yeah, that would be better for Eagle Claw. Nah, I like the will. Zlato. Yep, this is better for Zlato. There we go. One of these days I'm going to need to find a super light shield. I.e. make... That's all good. Alright. I guess that will do for now. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, camp. Alright. Looks like everyone has recovered all of their hit points. So yeah, there we go. Uh, got lots of seaweed. Got some straw. Let's break the camp. Start eating the seaweed for that uh, extra movement point. And let's visit the raider's lair. All right, you approach your enemy and have time to decide your plan of action. Uh, plan is for weaklings, attack, or we can do the social challenge. We've been doing well with the socials, so let's do the socials. Uh, all right, so this is again uh, Orc Witches, Orc Matriarch, and Orc Fighters. We'll go ahead and begin the combat. I think all of our high-damaging people are in the offensive hand. That is fantastic. I do not have any piercing people up front, but I can get you closer and do a little bit, although that doesn't actually do anything because you got shielding. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to be able to first action anyone, so I need to get other people out. Uh, let's go with Lau. Okay, they don't do a whole lot of damage, but, uh... Got a good shield ally there. And let's get Lysane out.
Let's go ahead and counter tactic. Get rid of one of you. Counter tactic again. That's annoying. Let's get X Gemini out. Support ally. Get Elevy out. Support ally. Support ally. And then get everyone else out. Could have done a better order than that, but I think we got enough damage coming out. Yep, there goes uh, Lysane. But there's only two of them left, and whatever's in their uh, discard deck. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Wow. All right, uh, let's see. So we picked up a, another monster shell with some uh, attractiveness. Uh, we got a Leshy's Hair Spear, I think. Yep, piercing. With 8 poison, 11 damage, 1 will. That's really good. Super light, too. Uh, another monster shell. A floating shield, 6 and 10. That's very good. Uh, another lucky button. A uh, Stormcloud Staff, which is 7 damage, piercing, bad quality, perception, dexterity. It's, it's okay. And a Battle Slingshot for 7 range damage. Some good stuff. Good. Take their stuff and continue. Plus 6 XP, plus 5 research points. Probably because it was a 5 skull challenge. And we are not overloaded. Alright, well, before we uh, do anything else, we should probably check to see if any of this stuff is excellent for us. Um, I think that shield that uh, Kilkakon has is going to be the best. Rosechan. So you're currently using a sword with four dexterity and six shielding. I think that's going to be better than uh, the piercing. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Alright, what about some of these other shields? That would be really good for Jasmine. Uh, you already have some attractiveness, right? Two. So this would bump that up to four. Yeah, let's do that. Definitely prefer getting that uh, attractiveness boost. Oh, I should also look for someone who can use Lucky Button. And that can be Kilkakon. Alright, Orin does have a pretty hefty axe, but... Going, getting another point of will, and... All that poison damage might be better. Yeah, I think so. And that does also free up your uh, strength for some heavier armor. If I can find something that you can use. It's actually pretty close for this. Let's take this... Well, actually... Let's take the lucky button off. There you go. We'll give the lucky button to someone else. Zlato can have the lucky button. There we go. Uh, Lau can have this shield. That's very good. Uh, Lysane... Nah, I really like that, uh, the, all that attractiveness on that shield. Yeah, 
Elevy. It's a little bit too heavy. I'd have to take something else off of you. But... Nah, it's fine. We'll leave it as is. You don't have enough to uh, carry anything. Alright. We'll hold on to the rest for now. And we've got some levels. All right, out in the woodcutters, we've got uh, plus one stealth for Lysane and Trivane, plus one health for Elevy and Eagle Claw, plus two damage for Jasmine, plus one strength for Zlato, plus two perception for Orin, plus one will for Lau, uh, plus one tactics for Ashley, plus two tactics for Crescens, plus two gathering for Kijikun, plus two health for Farron, plus one intelligence for Kilkakan, plus one animal kinship for Exgemini, and plus one medic for Rosechan. Very nice. Back at uh, our town, Borek got plus two strength. Very good. Uh, Ruderin and Kettle both got plus one strength. Nal got plus two speech. Zappa plus one craft. Gold plus one folklore. And Super Alu plus one intelligence. That's pretty nice. Got some uh, seaweed. Alright, let's see. How are we doing on time? We got some time. Let's do the Divine Quest. You find the remains of an old town, built in solid stone, with a large central building that even in its crumbled and rotting state looks very impressive. Like many such places, you feel the cold draft of the ever-present dark mist lurking in every corner. You see a faint light coming from one of the towers in the central building, and you know this is where you must go. So if you uh, if you've done the game, you know if you played the game before, uh, you can do this. Ignore all the fluff and go straight upstairs or skip the story. But um, we might as well do it. I mean, obviously, because we haven't done it before. Um, so let's go ahead and investigate. You enter the old building and soon realize it must have been a place of great knowledge, as even in the entrance hall there are vast shelves with remnants of books on them. Indeed, as you go in deeper. You find a rusted shield with the words, The pen is mightier than the sword, and the sword of knowledge defeats any foe. Before you make another step, you are met by a hooded stranger. Welcome to the Grand University of Cracovia. How may I be of assistance? He chimes as if nothing was awry in the world. Uh, who are you, and why are you still here? It doesn't look hospital. Grand University? I think we've met one of your fellows in a tower? Ignore the person go straight up the staircase. Uh, who are you? Why are you still here? It doesn't look hospitable. Why, I am the porter, of course. Here to meet and greet you, and direct you to the faculty you seek. So, are you here for the tour, to sign up, or perhaps you've come for the board meeting? Uh, let's see... This place is ruins. Are you insta insane? Uh, the tower? board meeting? What are you talking about? Let's go with this one. Excellent. You must be from another foreign delegation, then. Uh, I've been told there might be latecomers. Oh. The board meeting huh. is on the third floor, in the Thorn Rose room. Okay. You look towards the stairway, and you see it is crumbled and full of cracks, but it should be fine to climb. Alright, leave the strange man and go up. You go upstairs and find many more empty, eerie rooms filled with rotten bookshelves and destroyed books, laboratories with smashed equipment, and lecture rooms with decaying tables and the stench of death. But as you enter one such lecture room, you see that at the center, by a large round table, sit six people dressed in academic gowns. Approach the table. Hello? One of the figures at the table turns to you, and for a second you see only a skull. But then you blink, and an old man's face stares at you. Hello there. I see you have come seeking answers, yes? How did you find us? We were cursed long ago, never to be found by a living soul. And I dare say you look alive. Mm, well, our god told us to come here. I could say, well, it was a dream, I guess, but eh, our god told us to come here. Ah, so they are finally strong enough to try and regain their powers, and so they send you to seek answers. And what do you know of our god's power? Or, yes, you're correct. So, what do you know of it? You can go with this one. 
In short, we were the ones who took the power of the Pantheon to ensure our colleagues could burn the cosmic tree without interference. Wait, what? You? You took the power away from the gods? You're kidding, right? What? You took power from the gods? How? Okay, I feel this may be a long one. Just tell me straight and short. How did you do it and how can we undo it? I think this is, again, the, uh, skip all the, uh, the, the details. Uh, I, I want to, I want to ask about the burning of the cosmic tree. <laughs> Let's go with the first one. It was not easy, nor done without the aid of powerful and evil magic, but it was done. Each god, you see, had their own duty, their domain, and it was both their strength and their weakness. By hitting them all at once, we also didn't give them a chance to aid each other as they normally would. It sounds crazy. You said you used the dark magic? Why did you do it? And why did you burn the tree and hurt the gods? It sounds crazy. Crazy. Yes. Genius, too. No. No? No. But these two often walk hand in hand. Uh, it was mm. no small feat for man to defy the divine, you know. Okay, let's say we believe you. How exactly did you do it? In principle, all we had to do is distract each deity long enough so that the other department, the human advancement, had time to destroy the cosmic tree. But we realized that without magic of the strongest kind, we would fail. The Elder Peoples would not help, of course. They were sworn to uphold the pillars of the world. Many human kings and queens were also charged with championing the gods or protecting these sacred places. Thus, finding grand mages willing to do the job was impossible. So you turned to the dark magics? Yes, or rather they turned to us. I guess they have a nose for such things. A mage arrived at our doorstep, offering all the right answers. Even after we figured out he was the famed Dark Lord, banished ages ago in the Great War of the Eye in the Westerlands, we still couldn't say no. It was him or nothing. I kind of feel like the or nothing is probably the better option here. So, faced with, the, with working with an entity so evil that it almost devoured our world more than once, on more than one continent, you thought it would be... Well, I'll be fine. Hmm, you said you were a professor. Did your mama never teach you if something is too good to be true? It probably is. I mean, the Dark Lord. The name doesn't just stick to you for nothing. Let me go with the first one. Oh, don't get me wrong. We knew we were working with evil, but the pursuit of knowledge, of understanding, the very notion we could defy the gods, it was glorious. I think the Dark Lord didn't even break a sweat convincing us. Disgusting. And you're telling us no one realized what you were up to? There were suspicions. Some gods even took notice. But the Dark One was clever and diverted their gaze every time, building a fake army in his old stronghold and sending out omens of his return worldwide. This was step one of our plan. This was how we would trap the Supreme Gods. The Supreme Gods? Yes, like Perun and Mokosh in the Easterlands, every land in Thea had their own. They needed to be broken first, else their power would protect the others. Mokosh we could not lure away. She is wise and careful. But Perun, well, let's just say he was keen to go into battle. Very keen. Seven options unavailable. Morena is a wise goddess. Surely she did not fall for your, to your deception. Lady Morena, our patron and guide for centuries. Our betrayal of the goddess stung us deeper more than any other. But we argued to ourselves that she would approve of such a prudent and pragmatic approach. When our patron appeared to us, realizing what we were doing, and as ever asking us for the reason for our deeds, we entered into the debate and presented her with our theoretical considerations. However, the betrayal came from using filthy magic to temporarily trap our guest, just long enough for us to destroy all the grand universities, including ours, at once, striking a great blow to Morena's domain of knowledge. So what, destroying some buildings made our goddess lose her powers? Surely not. No, we were gravely mistaken and did not know Morena's full nature. She was a patron of knowledge and wisdom, yes, but not dependent on it. Nature and the wheel of fate and destiny are her true dominion. She laughed at us, telling us that our plans will fail miserably and that we were forever foolish to trust in magic instead of the natural progress of mankind. We were so ashamed. We thought that since our plans have failed, she will aid the others. But she just left, saying that fate will now take its course. So how do we restore her power if she willingly let it go? Go and seek more answers, my friends. If she wills it, she will show you the way to please her. Such are Morena's ways. Alright, fine. So where to next? 
Before I tell you, we must ask a favor. We have been cursed to stay here, neither alive nor dead for eternity, as punishment for our actions. A sentence we accepted with grace and understanding. It is not often you get to destroy the world and nearly kill off gods. However, we wish to be freed now. Who sentenced you? Once champions of the gods, like yourselves, realized our crime. They came to seek retribution, but the Dark Lord wanted to be sure the world burns, and so he cloaked this place from any mortal eye. Without the gods' guidance, no one could find us and learn the truth. Then came a lone spirit, claiming to be an echo of the Pantheon. The spirit cursed our souls to eternal damnation for our arrogance, making us unliving and bound to this building till the end of days. How can you be freed if this is a curse? Can you be killed? There is a way to try and free our souls from these unliving bodies. With the underworld shut, we will still roam fear, but at least we will be free. You do not deserve freedom, you doomed our world! Why do you believe you should get freedom after all you've done? Let's see why, what they have to say to that. Yes, many of us share your enthusiasm for the punishment. We are tormented by our faults, believe me. But to be stuck like this forever. If you kill us, we will only suffer the pain of death. But eventually, we will return, marked by another scar. But if you use your connection to the gods to break our curse, perhaps we can be released. All right, we got uh, two options. Fourteen options unavailable. Hmm. Um, I believe some of those are based on, you know, who you, what deities you follow and stuff like that. You have sentenced Thea to death, and worse yet, you have taken arms against our gods. You shall suffer the punishment that you were sentenced to. Give us a location or suffer a death. Your crimes are despicable, your arrogance beyond measure, and your stupidity in trusting dark forces goes beyond any measure. But your fate seems dire, and there is little point in more suffering in this world. Give us a location first, we will then think about releasing you. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. I mean, uh, there's really no punishment that... Uh, there's no crime that truly warrants eternal suffering, in my opinion. The old man nods his face twisted in a mixture of fear and sadness. I have imprinted the location you seek in your minds. You will find it whenever you seek it. While the impulse for re revenge is futile and unwise, you have defiled the very bastion of knowledge, once the very seat of Marina's power. It is time you face the other face of our goddess. Death! Attack! Or... Our Lady Marina va values reason over emotion. Revenge is an empty feeling. You have served your punishment, and now you have aided us in our search. We will attempt your release. It's an intellect challenge. Marina is not one to appreciate inaction, and yet perhaps she will find wisdom in our desire to leave you to your wretched fate. You defiled a sacred place of knowledge and stripped Our Lady of her strength. Rot here for eternity. Now we'll try it. It's a three skull intellect battle. With seven intellect cards. Let's go. Alright. Uh, I've got some decent uh, powered cards. I'll go with it. I've got a lot of cards in my hand right now, so it's not bad. Um, alright, Lau has, uh, piercing. Oh, we got a lot of piercing, actually. Should've done that the other way around. Go ahead and get in there. Go ahead and have you get closer. I'll have you get closer. You get closer. Okay. This is Leech, so that's pretty good. Let's get you in next. Let's try countering ta- oh. Hmm. Alright, you can counter tactic. I can get rid of one for sure. Good. No, no, I can't do anything else. We're confused.
confuse you. And then let's just get everyone else in. Alright, I think we will win this. Very nice. And they won't even do any damage. Excellent, we have won! You take your time to meditate and to find your inner peace. In this place of sorrow and darkness, you seek a link to your gods by opening up your hearts and souls. In time, the connection works, and you are able to use it to cleanse the bonds of the Forsaken Scholars. You feel a strong euphoria take over your bodies, and you know your deity approves of your honor and mercy. You now know where to go in search of answers, and you feel a strong blessing upon you. Alright, so we've got a 25 turn 5 intelligence blessing on pretty much everyone. Good. Let us leave this cursed abode now. Plus 8 XP and 3 research points. Okay, the divine quest is down there. And with that... Let's go ahead and come over here. And we'll go to the cosmic tree next. Hit the divine quest on the way home. And then come back to the village. That's pretty good. But that will be next time. See you then, everyone.